go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. This year, more than $50 million has been raised to stage this convention. Where did it come from? From corporations, unions, and their lobbyists. Since 1996, our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, has been looking into the kind of access big money can buy at these conventions, and he's on the money trail again tonight. From the fireworks over the city, to the stretch limousines, to the bananas foster at the Shell Oil Company party last night. It's lobbyists gone wild here in Denver. The Democratic Party seems to be ignoring what their presidential candidate has made a theme of his campaign. We will not take a dime from Washington lobbyists. But they are this week. Lobbyists and the corporate executives they work for swarmed into Denver over the weekend in their private jets, unloading golf clubs and some prominent Democrats, including Senator John Kerry. At night, the liquor was flowing, and lobbyists and congressmen were schmoozing at dozens of private parties where outsiders were not welcome, including this one put on by the big railroad, CSX. No, you're not going to shoot me. You're going to show me your ID. Ethics watchdog groups say Senator Obama could have stopped much of this. Indeed, I think he could have sent a signal to say, I want this camp down, I want this to be lower key. So in the absence of that, what is the result? The result is that it's party time. Indeed, the man the Democrats chose to raise $50 million from corporations to pay for the convention, Steve Farber, heads one of the most prominent lobbying firms in Washington. The companies, all with pending issues in Washington, are allowed to give under a loophole in the law that otherwise prohibits them from contributing to political campaigns. I think, number one, they want to be part of a democracy. Last night at the Denver Art Museum, Farber and his lobbying and law firm hosted a huge blowout of a party. No cameras allowed inside. Farber was unfazed about the apparent contradiction with Senator Obama's ban on lobbyists. I respect the position that's been taken by the Senator, but I don't necessarily agree with it. There were so many Democratic officials in Farber's party, they had their own fast lane to get inside, including the powerful chairs of many House and Senate committees, Henry Waxman, Patrick Leahy, and Carl Levin, who said he saw nothing wrong in attending because he and the lobbyists have long been close. Is that, is that a problem for you? To go to an old friend's party, though. A spokesman for Senator Obama says he wanted to make significant changes in how the conventions are paid for. The, the primary season ended too late for him to do so. But he hasn't even been able to change things in his own home state, Illinois delegation, where the Chicago Sun-Times reports corporate money will pay for a big reception honoring him later this week, Charlie. All right, Brian Ross again this year on The Money Trail. Let's go guys. Let's go. Let's go guys. Let's go. Let's go guys.